How is learning to read English as a second language different than learning to read English as a first language? Many of us grew up with English as our first language, went to school, and began learning to read. Other children begin to read English after already having exposure to a different language at home. For these children, learning to read is much different. This chart shows how the vowels in Spanish sound different from the vowels in English. Every language has its own set of sounds. Therefore, there may be sounds in English that are not present in a child's first language. This may make it hard for that child to distinguish between the new English sounds. In addition to languages having their own unique sounds, some languages put sounds or letter combinations together that aren't even seen in other languages. This means that students who are learning English as a second language will need to retrain their brain to become familiar with these new combinations. Because of all these sound differences, it is important for students learning to read English as their second language to have lots of engaging exposure to these sounds. Singing songs, poems, and chants, these all provide students with practice both hearing and reproducing these sounds. But it is not just phonemes that these students must learn differently. This photo displays how the letter sounds used in Russian compare to the letter sounds used in English, but it relates to all languages. So, some letters in the Cyrillic alphabet look and sound just like letters in English. Others look the same, but they sound different. And others have the same sounds, but look completely different. Why does this happen? Because it's easier to learn from existing schema. One time, I was told to try to recall 10 words that had no relation to one another. It was challenging. But then I was told to recall 10 related words, the different rooms in my house. This was so much easier because I was able to use my prior knowledge picturing images in my head. Now, let's step away from phonics and the alphabet. Students who are learning English as a second language do not get as much practice reading aloud in class. Because they start out reading at a bit more slowly rate than their peers, they read much shorter sections and have fewer opportunities. To help with this fluency, allow English language learners time to decode all the words before they begin reading. Once the students have each word figured out, they can then truly work on their fluency. It is important to remember, however, that reading more slowly or lacking expression is very common. Echo reading, you read a page, then I read the same page, is another great tool for these students to practice their reading fluency. It allows these students to hear a model of the reading first and then have the opportunity to practice the reading themselves using the same expressions. Now vocabulary. When these students learn new vocabulary words, they have what could be considered two different types of vocabulary, and it is important for educators to be able to distinguish between the two. Some words are completely new and need more instruction. Other words the students already understand in their first language, and they simply need the English label. Some English language learners may become word callers, meaning they can read words perfectly without actually understanding the meanings. This is very common with prepositions and reflexive pronouns, which can be very confusing. These words therefore need to be pointed out to the students as they are learning to read. Reading comprehension is affected by many factors as well. English language learners need explicit instruction on how to use reading comprehension strategies. Many educators ask comprehension questions without really modeling and allowing time to practice using these strategies needed to answer these questions. It is also important to note that all students have different background knowledge based upon their cultures and experiences. Children of other cultures may get a bit confused reading in English because they expect things to occur differently. Take this picture for example, a student from another cultural background reading about a woman getting dressed in a white gown for a big day may not realize it's for a wedding. It is also very common for English language learners to understand more than they are able to communicate back in English. 
Therefore, allowing them to use different methods to express their knowledge is key. Two examples are allowing students to explain their knowledge through pictures or through using diagrams. Trying to only use English can be very daunting for students who usually think in a different language. These students may be slow to answer questions because they spend a lot of time trying to think of the correct words to use in English to explain their answer when they actually know the answer right away. For this reason, the student's first language should not be eliminated from the classroom altogether. If trying to determine the student's understanding of content material, why shouldn't the student be able to use their full repertoire of language to show what they have learned? In fact, students developing language skills in their first language is actually beneficial to learning language skills in their second language. This is one reason why it is so important for students to continue developing language skills in their first language at home. When used correctly, educators can help students transfer skills learned in their first language over to English. This is why it is also important for educators to build positive relationships with English language learners' families. These students highly benefit from personalized instruction. Connecting instruction to the students' daily home experiences is essential to their learning. This includes their learning to read English. And lastly, here is a quote by George Evans that describes a very common idea in the field of education. He said, Every student can learn, just not the same day or in the same way. Although this is commonly related broadly to all students, it is important to keep this idea in mind when focusing on a specific population of students. And by that I mean, all English language learners can learn to read, just maybe not in the same way or in the same length of time. Learning to read English as a second or even third language is very different from learning to read English as a first language.